Hello and welcome to Ready Player Dumb. We are here with Fran Bo. Yeah. This is a game, uh, part of our Halloween series yeah. that we're doing uh, here in the year. And we're doing it because I want to. I played this game before. I've actually streamed this game before with my our good friend Matt. Um, and I'm all about, and I'm this all has been, it's, it's one of my favorites that I've played. Um, so yeah, and it's a spooky game, so it's great for Halloween. Spooky, scary, scary. <laughs> Alright, let's click new game, shall we? New game, yep. shall we? Auto save. Alright, I know nothing of this game. Everything's fine. Everything is fine. It feels like heaven. Oh, good. I see my parents. They look happy. Aw, this is a happy game. They have a present for me, I wonder. Thank you. It's a cat, so sweet and pretty. Aww. Dark as the deepest night. This is a scary game, cats. <laughs> it's Mr. Midnight. My best friend. My best My friend. My only friend. I will absorb your friendship. Bye. I'm having dinner and I see Aunt Grace too. I really like her a lot. It's Friday. My parents are going out. Bye. Aunt Grace takes good care of me. Thank you, Aunt Grace. We're having so much fun. Yo. It's Monday night. I'm playing with Mr. Midnight. Oh my, Mr. Midnight. With a but something feels really bad. With a butt dot. Oh. A strange creature outside my window. I don't like it. It scares me. Yeah. Suddenly I hear something. It's mom screaming. I want to know what's wrong. A bright light shines from my parents' room. I go closer. And closer. Dun dun dun. Mom, dad? Uh-oh. Please don't. Oh, whoa. Mommy, daddy. <laughs> whoa. <laughs> yeah. Like, they're very chopped up. Yeah. The whole house was bleeding. That's how bad it was. Angry cat. The Grim Reaper. <laughs> Friend, please follow my voice. On the count of three, you will wake up. One. One, one, one. Two. Two, two. Oh. Three. Hello, sir. Fine, how do you feel? I'm glad you ask. Fine, I guess. I feel like dying. Do I press the buttons? Yeah. How do I feel? <laughs> I'm fine, I guess. Or... Well... He's had a not a bad... bad things happen. So which one is your... I mean, I mean, I get the bad things, but... I don't know why you'd say you're fine, but I also am not one to say I feel like I'm dying. So I'll say I'm fine, I guess. It didn't work. Oh, okay. Do I have to click it? Yeah. I'm fine, I guess. Just sad to see the same things. Sadness is something everybody has with you. I want to find the killer or I want to go home. 
Well, I want to find the killer. I really want to know who killed my parents. The police are all working on it. I'll find my cat and the killer. Nobody does anything. <laughs> Nobody does anything. The police are doing nothing. Don't be so negative. Surely we'll get answers soon. Click it. No, you don't have to click that. I'm pretty sure you can just click anywhere. Anywhere? Yeah. Oh. But now I have something for you, friend. <laughs> oh, Riri. <laughs> what is it? What is it? See the desk? There's a little package for you. <gasps> what? It's from Aunt Grace. Take it. This was my mother's it. purse. Open it, there's something inside. Are you having a hard time? No, I'm just... Okay. <laughs> I think you are having a hard time. Is the mouse not working as good? It, it's working okay. Lost and found. Uh, okay, so this is like your inventory um, menu here. Gotcha. And you've got like a paper in there, looks like a letter. Use. Yeah, so unfortunately, I think you just have to click everything. Why isn't the numbers working? I don't know. Just click on, on use. But I want it to be good. Oh. I can't use this. Maybe I should examine it. <laughs> <laughs> Dearest friend, here's the purse you like so much. I thought you would like to have it. When I was thinking about you, I remembered that you like to examine objects and combine them with other things. Mm. So I hope you'll always keep this purse and give it uh, and give it and all the other things you find a good use. Uh, never forget that creativity is absolutely the greatest gift you have. Love, Aunt Grace. Aunt Grace. She's worried about you. I'm worried too. I'm worried too because I'm not crazy and still here. Stop it, you're out of control, young lady. <laughs> I'm so tired of all this. I'm so tired of all this. I just want to go to my room. Yes, you can leave, but before you do, it's time for your new medicine. What medicine? What medicine? <laughs> it's called Duotine, uh, and it will uh, make you feel very relaxed. Nurse, we're ready. <laughs> Anything new today, Dr. Dan? <laughs> Nothing, actually. Some same visions as before. Oh, I see. Here, Fran, take your medicine. Just a spoonful of sugar. Helps the medicine go down. Can I click on other stuff? I don't feel good. Whoa! Oh no, take her back to her room. And nurse, don't let her take this ever again. <laughs> How dare you, nurse? You told me to give it to her, sir. Beware, front bow. What? If you leave the house of madness, I will hunt you down. <laughs> you are only safe. In the asylum. And bring you back to insanity. Oh, she cried blood. Fran, wake up. Oh, now we're going crazy. The medicine will help you escape. I'll be waiting for you in the forest. All right. Yeah, Fran, I love you. The cat spoke to me. He said, "Yo." Chapter one, my sober day. My sober day. Dear sober day, welcome to the day where we do not drink. What is this? Alrighty. Is this supposed to make me feel good? <laughs> yeah. All right. Wake up, wake up. I'm still here, hideous place. 
I just have to get out of here. Get out of here. Friend. Ooh, eyeballs. Hello, child. It's the child. So, first impressions of Franbo. Hello, Phil. The art makes me unsettling. Is it unsettled? Uh, it makes me unsettled. I'm gonna ask him if, if you know a way out, or how are you? I'm polite. How are you? How are you? Everybody says that I'm sick. <laughs> I have to find Kitty. Bye now. They are just stupid. They always say that. They're just stupid. Are you leaving tonight? I will if you help me. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing I know is that the office is uh, that the office is the key. There's a key inside. <laughs> That's her voice. Okay, you can give her your voice. You can just click on you what on you want, and and I'll just read what pops up. But I wanted. To, okay. To, I wanted. To, uh, office is the key. The key? Is there a key inside the office? I saw the doctor write a secret code. <laughs> a secret code to open the yellow door? He doesn't want me to tell you. Who? Him. Oh my god. All doors are closed. You are my prisoner of my games. And nobody will help you escape. Goodbye. <laughs> Leave me alone. I hate you. Damn. Yeah. These children have demons. I wonder if you can click on the little trunk that he has underneath his bed. Yeah, I, I tried. Mommy, Daddy, I need you so much right now. Mommies and daddies. No, I won't let that monster stop me. All right, all right. All right, now see. Ooh, a secret box. Well, obviously we should examine it. Yeah. Oh, you gotta click on it first. Oh. Little box. It's open. It's open. Maybe. Oops. Examine. Okay. A key. This will certainly open something. Alright. Oh boy. I think you just clicked out of the game. <laughs> God damn it. How oh, scary. We'll be right back. Spooky. <laughs> oh, it's got a key. It's a key. It's a bear. I hope somebody loves you. Hello again, Miss Kitty. Hope somebody loves you. <laughs> Ooh, wooden Mr. Horse, are you having a good time? Back and forth. I used to have a blue dress like yours. I can't play with you now. I'm on a very secret mission. Did you find the doctor's code yet? It's in the is it's in the office. Oh, that was the kid. Uh, Oh. If I sit down, I'll eventually get up. So what's the point? To be seated or not to be seated? That is the question. Oh, you. Let's go back this way. We could have uh, probably looked at our that clipboard that was on that. Well, we will. Oh, sweet, sweet melody. Locked. Good reason to get curious. I wonder if that's what the key's for. I'll get your nose. I will get it. She wants the nose. Uh, Frambo Dagenhart. Age 10, female. The patient was found near Oswald Asylum showing signs of psychosis. The Bow Dagenhart family tragedy. Details omitted. Treatment. Uh, Dr. Marcel Dearn has tried different medications and all have been cancelled because of side effects. 1944. Yeah. Old school. I don't want to. I just woke up. Don't argue with me. I am you. Red and tiny and you were hiding from me. I have to find Mr. Midnight. I have to find him now. I miss my kitty. He hides because he is afraid. He told me that the medicine would show me where he is. Hate I the monster. Hate the monster. Hopefully, this won't fall on my head while I'm sleeping. Is that your you opinion know. of politics or polit religion? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus! Oh, 
hook, I guess. Handy hook. I'll save it to play pirate later. See? Yeah. Wise. Fran, you have good idea. Can you look out the window? I guess I broke the curtains. Now I can look outside. Jesus. Yeah. It's like a prison. High security in this uh, children's hospital. What? What is this? I think it's like kind of supposed to be a little bit like a gown with just I don't know, somewhat indicative of uh, those like straight jackets, just a little bit. <laughs> Tower defense. We have uh, for you a crazy da, 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 da. crazy person person called Fran. Oh. Or is it defense tower? Um, I guess that's my way out. I don't think my head would fit through the window. There it is, the yeah. last one. All right, Fran Bo. We can go left or right. Let's go this way. Uh, Hello, nurse. My legs are just fine. I'm, I'm not disabled. Wow. <laughs> empty bottle, empty glasses, nothing useful. Towels, towels, I don't need towels. Let's drink coffee. Oh, I want to know what she's writing. I'm curious. I guess the nurse would never let me touch anything. Oh, Fran, you're awake. Good. <laughs> yes. How long was I asleep? Three days, maybe. Damn. Was it the medicine that made me sleepy? Yes, it was the medicine. That's why you're not taking it anymore. I did something. Lady nurse, I did something. See, you are nothing but trouble. What is it? <laughs> I broke the curtains. I was trying to look outside and I accidentally broke the curtains. <laughs> accidentally. I'll have to fix this. Follow me. Where? Adios. Lady. Uh, I'm curious, yes, but the nurse is inside this room. She would just go crazy. I better go and talk to her. Try and click the, like, what's the other thing? This uh, thing of band-aids. Oh, a playground. How nice. Ah, oh, the playground. Good night, trees and moon. Ah, oh, the playground. I'm pretty sure the playground isn't a good escape route. Um, I like the bunny swing thing. That makes me dizzy. The moon in the sky. Like a big pizza pie. Dot That's Can you not grab the band-aid box? She doesn't want to grab okay. anything. Alright, cool. All right. So she doesn't want to do it. She doesn't want to do it. Something's missing. Have you seen the hook that holds the curtain up? What is a hook? Um, what's a hook? Well, I have to go and find something to fix this, you little girl. Bitch! Alrighty, nurse is out of the room. Let's glad. go back to the table. I'm glad she, oh, 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 oh. I'm glad she wore her sexy shoes. Now we can see it. Yeah. Let's look at this. Oh, I'll keep these patches to stop blood. <laughs> ew. ew. Drink it. Drink it. Ew, ew, ew. Uh, Gladys. Franbo Dagenhart, the patient has uh, been sleeping almost all the time. She's only she only wakes up to drink water, but uh, I don't think she remembers that. After drinking, she goes to sleep again. She hasn't uh, been social social for three days now. Uh, some kids have come around and asked about her and when she would come out and play. Do it, team. Eight. Eight. H. H. Mm. This is a code. This is a code. Why would you write the code on just a random thing? Uh, violent trauma have uh, a great impact on children, totally changing their normal lives. For example, children damaged by trauma can have mild to severe deficits in abilities such as Trusting people near them, seeing the world as a safe place, making decisions, etc. Because of these effects, some traumas can lead to several symptoms of major mental illness. For example, not trusting other people or not feeling safe in the world. This can be interpreted as paranoia, drawing of the brain, frontal lobe, motor, co motor cortex, sensory cortex, uh, part, peripheral lobe, or whatever. 
occipital lobe, a temporal lobe. A temporal lobe. Sarah, you have to the do drawer. all the big words. Open the drawer. I think this is where the medicine is, but it's locked. Okay. Whoa! Oh my goodness, this is terrible. Why would the nurse have this? She wants to kill us all. <laughs> I'll leave it as is. We really need to get out of this place. Aw. Right, should have taken the gun. Inspect that box. <laughs> Why would she have the gun? Let's inspect the box. Oh, which one? In our inventory. This box that we just got. Shaman. My pills are inside. I know it. I have to crack the code. Oh. Uh, try use. Use. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. A, B, C, D, E, F. Maybe we'll find the other. I'm smart. Wait. Oh, okay. What? <laughs> I, I forgot how that was supposed to be solved. I'm surprised that you even just got it on the first go. Really? Yeah. I don't know. I, I haven't played this game in like maybe three, the, two, three years. I just referenced that there was a code written on her paper. But it only had eight H circles. It was just referencing Okay. that that A is one, B is two. Okay. I like that. You're like, wow. <laughs> All right, let's take those pills then. What? You want to take the pills? Yeah. Mr. Midnight told us that it was the key to finding it. It was not me. Is that a dead <laughs> rabbit? Yeah. Oh, here you are sleeping, sweet bunny. Oh, are you sleeping, sweet bunny? Ba bunny, wake up. Please, bunny, just wake up. Are you sleeping? Look who it is. Mm. That is my head. They got my head. Oh, is that my head? <laughs> Give me my head back, please. I, I appreciate it. Just go away, you weird creatures. Well. So we can, um, if you click the pill box again, it'll revert back to normal. So each room has hidden things like that can be seen. Yeah. Stairway. It was not me. Ooh. Who did it? Who did it? Who, 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 who. Blood. Find Blood. him. Well, let's let's go over here real quick with my pills. Whoa! <laughs> Change my mind. We'll come back. Okay. Let's go down here. Yeah. Oh, maybe I shouldn't no, have. No, absolutely down. not. You can't tell her that. But she has to know. You can't keep me away from her. The reason is more than clear, Grace. No, no, it's not. I can. Oh, you can't. Uh, Fran's mental condition is not appropriate yet. I think so it's she said, wants to take Fran. Yeah, I think home. I think she said I can take her now. Yeah. Whoa. Yep. Now there's a dead fox. <laughs> dun dun dun. Are you, are you having vague memories? Because I'm pretty sure you like saw me playing this game with both of this on the screen. Is this why you wanted me to play? No. Because you're like, why I oh, to play. there's a dead fox and a dead rabbit. I just know this is a scary game that I've played before. It that is. I'm like, ha, ha, ha. this would be good for Halloween time. Was I real? Oh dear, Aunt Grace. I wonder what she has to tell me. I like the ominous music. That doctor has no soul. I'm going home tonight. Oh no, Foxy Fox, don't cry. He crying. Use my hand as a tissue. Would you like a hug? Yes. Foxy, why are you so sad? Foxy, 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 rings the rabbit. I wonder what this what sounds this like now. No, oh, still sounds nice. All right, let's go over here. Now, let's see what's up with this dude. Hey, man. Watch your step. Empty bottle, empty glass, nothing useful. <sighs> okay, so, so we saw that. Let's talk to this guy. Get out, creepy creature. What are you, huh? Tell me. You like to see me sad? Oh, yeah. Guilt him. 
The mouse. He's funny. whispering. What's up with you, lady? Hello, Miss Nurse. Is, is that the nurse? Maybe. But she dead. Are you all right? <laughs> <laughs> it, it's an unsettling game, but there's a weird charm to it. Hello, huh? Uh, try clicking the yarn. Try. Ooh. Excuse me, lady nurse. This may be very useful. So you got her knitting needle. So you, you can probably just close inventory. All right. Let's look at the mouse. You've got a little blood on your mouth. Are you okay? My mommy also had blood on her mouth. She looks sad. You got a little blood on your... Oh, okay. Repeat. So I don't think there's anything else. There's blood Unless you want to look out the window. Let's look out the window. It's a handprint. A handprint? Ah. Why is that a handprint? Why? Alright, let's now go over here. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. What happened to the boy? Got a little gaunt looking. To happiness. Let's uh, close our pills <laughs> for a moment and read this. Uh, Fillmore Brownstone, age eight, male. The patient came to Oswald Asylum with his mother, Rachel Brownstone. The boy has developed paranoid behavior, paranoia not yet diagnosed. Uh, daily treatment with Dr. Marcel Dearn. We have not achieved the patient's trust and he refuses to be questioned. I refuse. All right, let's get crocked. Hello, dear. Hello. Oh, no, your head. Oh, God. <laughs> His head to, fell off. Try to put your head back on. I'm sorry, I can't help you, Mr. Deer. Yeah, he was pretty old. I'll try to put... Oh, no. I don't think so. All right, let's... I wonder if you... Phil's playing with his uncle, and the uncle is mad. Mad. Phil's crying. Oh, poor Phil. Don't you see? You killed the bird. Your mommy is not happy. Uncle will die. Oh, no. Phil is playing with his uncle. Why are you looking at me like that? You terrify me. What's that black thing sitting next to you? He's telling you things. Can you hear it? All right. So should I put these away as yeah. I proceed? Of course it's locked. What? You got a key. Of course it's locked. I've got a key. Use tiny key with door. door. Oh, too tiny. Well, well, what if I instead use this? Uh, yeah. Almost, but there's another hole. I need something else. <laughs> uh, can you combine two items? Maybe. Old golden hook that fell from the curtain. Let's just see what this does. Or what was what was with the door when you had pills engaged? I guess this is the way to do it. Let's find out. Still locked. Okay. Open pills. So see if you can combine anything in your inventory to unlock. Can it. I combine you and? Oh wait. It's not lit up, so. Combine tiny key with. Oh. Um. Knitting needle? No. Try the hook and the needle. <laughs> what? Won't work. Okay, so maybe let's keep looking around. There's gotta be something else. Oh, right. Let's look around. Was there anything in this room when it was... I clicked everything. Demony. 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 Wow. So nothing's blocking the decks. So try our side table. Wow. Okay. Oh. Tiny key? You. Go 
got it, and there's something inside. What is it? Ah, uh, there we go. Okay, oh, so stuff. that's ooh, a picture. Examine. Oops. Ah, I screwed up. I just click something randomly. Or... Oh boy. Just uh, click the. <laughs> <laughs> That's the scariest oh, possible game. Back in. All right, there we go. All right. All right. Well, when we come back, we're gonna look at our inventory here. You're watching Ready Player Dumb, and this is Franbo. Oh.